So now we're going to experience the magic of a tea extract. If you want to find out how to make a tea extract, check out our video in the link below. But this particular one is Take One Yin, and this has been steeping overnight in the fridge. Uh, it's basically a cold brew, but it can be made into many different types of drinks with different types of water. So Mariella, you're going to explain to us how to best experience your tea extract. So we can use this extract in various ways. Here I have boiling water, ambient temperature water, sparkling cold water and chilled water. Okay, now it's a bit like cordial really, uh, the system. So what you do is you just add a bit of cordial to your glass. And the magic is that you can adjust it to taste. So if you think the result is too weak, you add a bit more extract. If you think it's too strong, you just add a bit more water. Makes sense. So it's really easy. And the good thing is it doesn't get bitter. It may get a bit astringent and you just add a bit more water. So it's simple as that. So, okay, here we go. You can just add boiling water in wine glasses. Even fancy wine glasses like this, watch. Because there is already a cold liquid on the bottom and I'm pouring it right into the middle, nothing happens with the glass whatsoever, okay? So, ambient brew, filtered of course, because you do not want the chlorine flavor that is in tap water. Except of course, if you really like the chlorine flavor, by all means, use your tap water, whatever you like. Okay. Oh, can you open this? Of course. I have a very bad wrist. Sparkling water. And then I would like, look at that, that's beautiful. It almost looks like... Champagne. Exactly. If you, if you serve this in a flute, mm -hmm. it actually does look like champagne. And then we have the chilled water. Also, of course, filtered water. Here you go. Is this about the same amount? Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. Okay, now I would like you to try. All Cheers. right, so let's see which one catches my fancy. So I'm sure they bring out different notes given the temperature is different in each, isn't it? So this one is the one that's made with filtered chilled water. So let's exactly. take a Exactly. Mm. And let me know if you need more water or more extract. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. Very, very smooth and so refreshing. I love, I love, I love this tea, but it just tastes so nice even at this temperature as well. It's very thirst quenching. Does it still have the floral notes? Absolutely, it's bags of it, but I think that is down to the filtered water, isn't it? The filtered water in any temperature will bring out those beautiful notes in tea. So that's really... But this is also the tea. Yeah, in the tea, tea, yes, of course. It's innate of this tea that it has floral notes but you will bring it out more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is the sparkling one. This is beautiful as well. Slightly different flavor profile because I think with the, the bite of the sparkling water and you know, sparkling water differs also greatly just like tap water in its hardness as well. And sometimes if it's too hard, then it might mute some of the uh, aroma compounds, um, the volatile compounds in the tea. Uh, it's still beautiful, has a nice bite, very refreshing, and would be really nice on a summer's day. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try this one, is the ambient, so room temperature filtered water. So let's see. Also really, really nice. Quite similar to the chilled in its, uh, in its experience. Last but not least, and I'm glad I tasted this last because I think in a warmer temperature, tea just gives off this absolutely um, full notes on the nose, isn't it? Especially when you sniff it before you sip. Magic. Absolute like it. magic. Yes. I think I like all of them. Different occasions, different times, same tea, 
but different experience. So love the concept of the extract. It's so simple to do. And best part about it is you can decide at that moment how you like to drink it so simply.